Chuck Walters. What a director. What a fine young man. He is all American. He, he was uh, in My Pal Joey, you know, and came out here. And Chuck Walters, let's see some of his other credits. But he, he was uh, Lily, Easter Parade, Lily. Uh, and uh, he looked like the typical college kid, Harold Teen. And he, he was, he was he, just, just a sensational guy, yeah. And uh, Judy, Judy loved him, and uh, as everybody else did. Uh, Chuck Walters, he died at a very early age, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, and uh, it, it was a, a wonderful, you know, a wonderful picture. Uh, there is one interesting anecdote about it. Judy had periods where she had, had a lot of weight and then didn't lose weight. And uh, uh, in an Easter parade, she she got down to a pretty uh, pretty low level. And and, and at, at the end of the picture, when she was uh, was scoring the picture. Uh, it was uh, interesting. She she was down to a very low level of weight, and and I always went to the recording stage, you know, where they did the recording. And this is a fascinating story about Julie's mind. She recorded all the numbers, and and in there uh, there's a number called "Better Luck Next Time," and and in the last four bars of that song, they you went up to F above high C, you know. Better luck next time. That could never be because there ain't going to be no next time. And that, she was just a little, you know, she had this wonderful falsetto that was her style that made her so great, but it didn't appeal. I don't know whether, uh, who, who uh, I've forgotten who, who the uh, orchestra, whether it was Johnny Green or Lenny Hayton, it was one of those two, and they weren't happy with it. And, and, and said, I'd like another take after take three or four or five. And, and she said, OK, one more, that's it, and, and uh, so forth. And she did it, and it wasn't what, exactly what he wanted. And she, went to the, she said, that's it. And don't worry about it, whether it was Lenny or Johnny Green. It was one or the other, I think. And she says, go see the movie. I said, what could she possibly mean? Go see the movie. And she knew the, you know, the scene that she would sing it to, and she sang it to Clint Sunberg. Uh, you'd recognize him, because uh, you've seen him a character actor. And he was the bartender in the movie. And of course, I waited all that time. Uh, you know, I don't know, you know when we shot it in continuity. And, and it's not in the cut. They, re, they recut it now, and it's not in there, but it was in the original movie because they cut it down for television. And she, she's singing the song, and she gets to it, and she's leaning over the bar, and Clint's behind the bar, and, and she sings, Better luck next time. That could never be. And she reached across and shook him. With, and it's just such a natural move. Stage one. Months before, and I'm waiting for that moment, what did she mean? That's Judy Garland.